Thompson was a great football player. He was an even better man. His fellow alumni were so appreciative of Bob's leadership and contributions to the club, they named a scholarship fund in his honor. Thanks to Buckeye supporters, the fund continues to carry out its mission of aiding Ohio State students. It's a fitting tribute to a fine man, a great All-American, and an eternal Buckeye. I played freshman football. You couldn't play varsity as a freshman. We played freshman football in 46 and 47, and actually either in some of 48, I played on the JVs. And I played junior varsity, and then I dressed for the varsity game and maybe get in the last couple minutes of that game. Well, 49, we won the Rose Bowl, and I was on the Rose Bowl trip, but I didn't play much. And then as a senior in 1950, I started every game, and that's when I became an All-American. The 1950 Ohio State-Michigan game, commonly known as the Snow Bowl, played at Ohio Stadium on November 25th of 1950 is probably the most unusual college football game ever played. It was played in blizzard-like conditions. The game probably should never have been played. Michigan won that game 9-3 to without registering a single first down or without completing a single pass. This was a very unique game in more than one way. Uh, in this game, we had brothers from Toledo playing on opposite sides. Older brother Tony Monson was the Michigan center, and Bob Monson, his younger brother, was an All-American defensive uh, middle guard for the Buckeyes that season. And both of them figured prominently in the low score of the game. Bob Monson helped block a Michigan punt and recovered the fumble that set up Vic Janowitz's 28-yard field goal early in the first quarter that gave Ohio State a 3-0 lead. Michigan hikes to a single wing right with two back both and Orton deep. Hartman gets the ball, gets blocked, set on by a Michigan man at the eight-yard line. It was blocked by the Ohio State right guard, Bob Thompson, the official, is giving the ball to Ohio State. Right before halftime, with Ohio State leading 3-2 to two, and only 47 seconds on the clock, we saw one of the most controversial calls in Ohio State football history. Ohio State had the ball at their own 13-yard line, third and six, and Ohio State coach Wes Fessler instructed punter Vic Janowitz to punt rather than run out the clock. Janowitz went back to punt on third down. Tony Monson went through and blocked Janowitz's punt, fell on the ball in the end zone for the game's only touchdown. Watch Tony Momsen come through in the center. He blocks the punt. It's going over the goal line. Momsen going for it. It squirts out of his hand. He scrambles after it, and it's a touchdown for Michigan. Touchdown for Michigan. There's some pass from center. The kick is good, and the score is nine to three. Although the score blocking the second quick kick. I went between the center, Kruger, and no one touched me. And my brother, when he blocked the kick, he did the same thing on McCullough. He went right around him and no one touched him. It was really bad afterwards, but, you know, we couldn't even stand up. We had kind of frostbite on our feet and our hands were so cold. You couldn't go into the shower unless you went into cold water. But the, the whole atmosphere of the team, of course, was really let down because I think on a, a good day we would have beaten Michigan, but uh, with the weather conditions the way they were, and we both played on it, they beat us. It's very rare, of course, to have brothers play on opposite sides of an Ohio State-Michigan game, and it's even more rare to have them figure so prominently in the game scoring. That's probably something that we'll never see again. My wife and Tony's wife were both expecting our first child at the game, but they sat through the game. Tony said if we had to play in a, a bad game like that, it was a great to play on a winning side. You know, when I played for the, for the Lions, I started every game and I was second string all pro. And yet I went to the, they traded me to the 49ers, but I got the 49ers, I started every game too. I should have played for two more years, really. And then I would have got a pension. But the reason why I did is because I had the two daughters and I could make more coaching and teaching. Can you imagine that? When I played, I got $5,000 and a $500 bonus with the Lions and $750 and $7,500 with the 49ers. I wasn't a, a great natural athlete, but I, I persevered. You know the quotation, genius, that power which dazzles mortals' eyes is off but perseverance in disguise. That was one of my 
favorite quotations because I persevered. <laughs>